In this video we are going to look at this Edison Fireside phonograph. Uh, if we can flip open the uh, lid holders, lift the lid off, we can see the uh, phonograph does not have a reproducer with it, but if we wind it up here, there's a lot of tension in the spring, so if we turn it on, you can see the mandrel is turning and if we set this down it's moving across at the four minute speed. If we push this little button in there's a little more gear noise and we see that it's moving across faster at the two minute speed. So the two four gearing is working If we back the crank out here, we'll be able to lift up the bed plate and see the motor. And we can turn it on here and watch it run. Everything seems to be in pretty good order. And it's not been worked on that I know of, so it is as is, but it's basically a functional machine. I don't know how old the spring is, if it needs to be re-greased or anything, but it seems to be running pretty smoothly. If we turn this back down, I can show this cabinet has been drilled for a signet bracket on the back. So if you wanted to mount a signet horn onto it, it's already ready to go once you put that bracket on. I should point out that the cabinet certainly has been refinished because I don't know if it'll show here, but in the light we can see this is definitely a decal that's been set up on top of this finish. So the finish looks pretty good, but it's certainly been redone and that decal really shows as a reproduction. The lid has the original handle. Looks pretty good. Inside and out. And if we set that back on top, the little latches work properly. The crank looks good. Uh, the, uh, the wooden part is free on the crank and it threads in properly. And there is Seth. So that's a look at this Edison Fireside I believe this was the Model A version that had the 2-4 uh, gearing.